I'm feeling inspired from that lady that picks up dudes in jail and stuff. So guess what I'm doing today? She's outside of a correctional Shit, facility. Shit, I figure I give me one too. Why the hell not? Everything else has failed. Oh, All right, looks like this dude's coming the through. Fit. There he is. So let me clarify. This woman has never met this man before. She's only known him through a few phone conversations. She's picking up this random felon from prison because she claims that all her previous dating options had failed, so why not? Shortly after picking him up, she stops by a convenience store to grab him some new clothes. Oh, your shoes. Oh. Oh. Hey, hey, do it again. By the way, do what you did earlier with your shoe. Oh. Hey. Hey. Hello. Hello. <laughs> They eventually made it home, and as someone put it perfectly, she got the Mario coins knocked out of her. Oh my god. Apparently this is a trend. Some women are contacting inmates and picking them up. Good for the inmates. <laughs> Meeting a stranger is wild. Meeting a stranger who just got out of prison is f***ing insane. It's all a roll of the dice, Adam. Online dating, <laughs> inmate pickup. At least you, you get their information. You definitely know how tall they are because of the mugshot. It's right there. Yes, these are all people who are in prison, but at least you know who they are. Has the dating game gotten so bad out there that we are now going for are incarcerated individuals. Definitely. That prison kid's different. So we went from I choose the bear to picking up inmates on their release date. Do your thing, but damn. Picking up a stranger is wild. Picking up a stranger from jail is even wilder. I love it. Someone tell these women it's fell in love, not fell on love. So what happened after that? People kept asking, so she finally gave an update. They're no longer together because he already had a girl. Now they're beefing because he's planning to do an interview to tell his side of the story from the viral pickup video. The truth of the matter is, he's mad because his girl found out. And he's mad because his reputation is not being shined with a very good light. Again! Not my fault. I didn't put you there in that place in the first place. So you want to talk about ruining reputations? You need to look at yourself for good, long, and hard in the mirror, sir. I don't know how to keep emphasizing to you that I don't fucking play. Again, I was minding my own business. Doing my own thing. Talking about something totally different. And they want to tag me and all that interview stuff, this and that. Well, I'm here to tell you right now. We don't care. Let me tell you. Right, let me tell you. <laughs> we don't care. Oh, no, 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 no. But y'all don't do him? that. Y'all don't you, do that because our money and that How would you see that man? Stop how would you see that man? Stop talking over me. But would you say Stop. that that man is... This whole conversation was honestly insane. This 46-year-old single woman hosted a TikTok live with Passport Bros and, oh well, judge for yourself. Let me ask you a question, Edgar. Why are the why are the Passport Bros not going to Sweden, Switzerland, Germany? Why are they going to Colombia, the Philippines, Malaysia, African countries? Why are they going there and not to Europe? Because that's the choice that they choose. No, not every man that, that is. That if, that, no, that can't, it can't be the wrong answer because, because you can't Europe tell everybody where they are. They're modeled born. like the West. They're modeled like us. And they're not going to stand for their bullshit. Obviously, they're not going to Western Europe because they're trying to escape Western women. Genius. They want something different. Women with a traditional upbringing or mindset. So they go to these very, very mm. poor countries where your $50,000 means the world in a third world country and they bring them back here and the women are subservient and they do everything the man wants but kid let me kid you not when the women get a little education and, and an employment and mm. learn the language they might not freaking stay they use the men the american men so, the smucks as an outlet to get here again nothing new nothing changed same old shit. here we go again an american woman looking down on foreign women Funny enough, these passport bros aren't even bringing their women to America or the West anymore, and they talk about it. So let me ask you a question. Because why can't you find what but, you're looking for here, if you're a good man, that is, right? Because, if you're a good man. Okay, I'll take part of what you said to reason why. Because you said that they take your little $50,000. 
See, maybe our because 50, here it 000, doesn't mean hold shit. Hold on, hold on. But real. exactly. See, it means it doesn't it mean, doesn't mean shit. shit here. But, but if you listen, it doesn't mean shit to the women who not accepting and don't see. Not the when I That's make a, over six hold figures. On, wait, it wait, mean wait, hold on. But but it doesn't make sense to a woman. Of course, it in does. that fact, when a man is working hard and putting in blood, sweat, and tears just to get his fifty thousand mm -hmm. dollars, see that woman get doesn't appreciate. Get a better appreciate. job, do better. See, but that other have more that don't appreciate it. You have see how more that, you see how that is. I did. It's unappre that's the reason why passport bros do what they do because simply what you said because they feel unappreciated for the hard work do that they better do better and make more money and, and on top of that no why from those making other more countries. money important have some emotional intelligence and make is, more money but i beg your pardon wow she really said that have some emotional intelligence and make some more money that little fifty thousand dollars well the foreign women from the philippines japan and colombia appreciate that and she wonders why she's 46 and still single with no man her attitude stinks and she doesn't even realize it she's literally proving why passport bros are correct why is what do you think fifty thousand is gonna buy in america with well, the state of look, the economy but he and works like, hard for it well how would you feel if somebody said that your little fifty thousand dollars don't make i, I make double that money. so but uh, it's I, irrelevant stop not the cap <laughs> What Doug? What about a woman who makes fifty thousand dollars and that man said, "I'm not gonna be with you because your little fifty thousand oh, dollars no, don't no, mean no, no, no. shit." But y'all don't do him? that. Y'all don't you, do that because our money you and see that man. Stop how would you view that man? Me. But would you say Stop. that that man is? Would you say that man is horrible? Would you say that man is like he don't Stop accept the woman? Over me. I'm for dropping what? you. That's it. I'm dropping you. Me personally, I wouldn't take this level of disrespect. Now given how frustrating dating can be in America right now, maybe single people should take a page from Spain's book where singles have come up with a genius way to meet each other at the grocery store at a specific time. The pineapple is changing the dating game in Spain. They are now using Tinder, Bumble, or any dating apps. They are going to a specific supermarket from 7 to 8 p.m. Look at how many people show up to this supermarket. Oh. Por la cara de... So people that are trying to find love or whatever they want, we don't judge here. We're going to this specific supermarket called Mercadona. Now, Mercadona is all over Spain, so this is happening across the country. And they are going from 7 to 8 p.m. So how do you know who's looking for love? A single people, they want to find their other half, grab a pineapple. They put it upside down in their shopping cart. Once you have the pineapple, you head to the wine selection or the wine aisle. Once you get there, if you find someone that you like and they also have the pineapple upside down, you have to crash your shopping cart. Mi media. You're looking for a long-term relationship, people buy a pack of lentils because lentils last forever in your pantry. But if you're looking for a one-night stand type of thing, people buy lettuce because it goes back quickly. So if you're in Spain right now, whether it's traveling for a couple days, studying abroad, or you simply live there and you want to find love, head to Mercadona from 7 to 8 and see what happens. Upside pineapple means something completely different here. Can we start doing this in America at Trader Joe's? Everyone is going to have eggplant and peaches in the American carts. 